with confidence When I go all the way around like hips and toes by sip on it Take a trip on it When I go you can go slow Wind it up on night Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ray. A lot of you guys know me as FS Professor. I, if you are new for the first time, please like, share, subscribe, comment. It helps with YouTube algorithm in sharing the content with other people that also might be interested. Today we're going to be doing um, what we call technical analysis. You know, we're going to be analyzing certain pairs, going through some certain pairs, maybe give our tips. We're just going to go with the flow. You know, I don't like planning things ahead. I just like to go with the flow. So do not forget, if you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, this is Technical Sunday. It's like a segment in the channel where we just uh, do technical breakdown before market opening. So anything I'm going to be talking about today, please, please compare with your analysis. Do not take them as a, a confirmed trading decision. Compare with your analysis. Uh, pick out what you think might be useful for you and, you know, uh, go to the charts and make your own uh, trading decision. And also, as you know, market is closed as we speak. So it is also possible for market to change uh, direction uh, on market opening later today. So do not take anything I say as signals or financial advice. Com take them as educational content, compare with your analysis and uh, make your own trading decision. So. If you're just watching this video for the first time, I would also appreciate if you go back to my previous video that I posted. The title says uh, my um, something like my analysis behind the sixty thousand pound trade that I took. So uh, and that's because I gave out a lot of tips in that uh, video. It was like a, a live webinar that I did with my students and some other people as well. Uh, people asked me questions. I gave out an I gave out the analysis behind the trade that I took. I held the trade for three weeks. Uh, I answered questions and also I talked about pairs like GBPUSD. I gave tips on how um, I managed that trade. I was how I was able to hold the trade for that long. What I did to manage my emotions. You know, a lot of amazing stuff like that. So please check the video. Uh, I believe you will get some tips from the video. Um, yeah, so let's jump on the chat and see what we have. So today I am not going to be spending too much time analyzing. I just wanted to make this video real quick because I have a, I have quite a lot of things to do today. So I'm going to go through GBPUSD and if I have enough time, I will also check some other pairs, right? So let's just go with the flow and see what we can come up with. So now GBPUSD, uh, currently I am on this trade. And I took this trade on, on, I think it was on Friday, maybe Thursday or Friday, I can't remember, either Thursday or Friday. And I'm just going to take you guys back to the to the main analysis uh, that I did before I took uh, my entry on this trade. Then I will then show you uh, further opportunities you guys might want to jump on when market opens uh, later on today. So uh, let's go. Let's let's talk about the main analysis behind this one first. So looking at this trade, um, so looking at this chart, my analysis on this currency pair was so simple, nothing complicated at all. I like to um, have confluences. I like to gather confluences before I execute. I always say to people, I am not aggressive. I am not an aggressive trader. So. I like to wait, I like to be patient, gather my confluence and execute. And because I am not an aggressive trader, I also do not use pending orders because I like to see my signals. Uh, some people call it confirmations. I don't like to call them confirmations because nothing is confirmed in Forex. You know, I like to call them signals that I like to see before I execute. So looking at this trade, um, I'm just going to be quick. I uh, spotted this imbalance here. This, uh, some of you guys know, call it as fair value gap. So this imbalance right here, right? So I spotted this imbalance here. And also we have uh, our pivot level around here. As you can see, this little tiny line is a pivot. I use, my style of trading is quite different. I call it hybrid. I don't believe in people saying one strategy works, one don't work. 
I am a firm believer that every strategy works, okay? So if you use indicator, that's fine. As long as you know what you're doing, if you use price action, if you use um, smart money, if you use retail, whatever you use, I don't mind. The most important thing for people is to make money. So with my own style of trading, I have learned how to combine all of these things together, uh, like indicators, um, indicators, smart money, retail, uh, all sorts of things like that. So I gather all my confluences, structure trading, uh, trend. I put all of these things together, gather my confluences to give me more reasons why I want to take that trade. I then execute. So I used indicator as additional confluence to enter this trade. So uh, when I saw the fair value gap here or imbalance, then also with a, uh, with another confluence, uh, I mean the indicator, yeah, and also this uh, demand level. You know, I have several things I like to see before I um, consider a level, my demand level. I'm not going to go into that right now. I have all of those stuff in my course. Um, but yeah, my demand level, it has been mitigated in, in confluence with a uh, imbalance that has been filled, the confluence with the indicator. I then lowered to smaller time frame to execute so what i did was um you know i said something earlier about how i gather all my confluences together like uh retail smart money indicator blah 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 so then when i lower to the smaller time frame i then saw something else uh which people would say is retail retail style of trading but i don't believe something is retail or smart money everything is the same people just use fancy names to justify rubbish in forex or to sell something Anyway, so I saw something uh, which we know as head and shoulders. We have the head here. We have the um, left shoulder here. And also we have the, at that point when I, when I was about to enter, the right shoulder hasn't formed yet. But I was able to spot out the, the um, head, left shoulder. Market was, you know, with uh consolidating around here and i was anticipating this to form a right shoulder so upon formation of the right shoulder i saw this uh engulfing candle on a 30 minute something around here you can see on a 30 minute right and after this engulfing candle it gave me my signal uh also with confluences that i've already gathered like uh, the imbalance the the demand, the indicator, then also this head and shoulders. So I executed right after I saw the um, the uh, the bullish engulfing candle. So I executed. I then later mapped out this um, level just uh, as a neckline, blah blah blah, and you know I executed and market did not even go into drawdown at all. It just went went directly into into profit so now business of today that's just a quick honestly this i already talked about uh earlier uh in that video and more but i just wanted because some of you guys are lazy you don't like you know, watching long videos so i decided to just briefly go into the main analysis so you, so that you guys can have an understanding of how i executed so now today's business of the day now we have a an aggressive push to the upside here, right? A push to the upside here. The first thing I was looking for was to see price retrace, to retest this level, then scale up. But that did not happen. Market made a rally, uh, consolidation, another rally, then it dropped. Now, how can we capitalize on this movement? How can we make additional profits? Do we have scaling opportunity? Uh, for me, I like to scale a lot and I do it so well. So. Uh, I am looking for another opportunity to scale up this currency pair. We saw a rally to the upside here and market consolidated. Now, when market consolidated, it has formed for us what we call um, a demand or let's say a support level, whatever you guys want to call it. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of terminologies or whatnot. The most important thing is for me to know what's happening. So, right, um, we then have this right here. And I'm gonna take some things off because I like I'm, I've got OCD, so I like my charts to be to be. I like I hate seeing a lot of things on my chart, right? At this point, this is no longer valid for me. Now I'm, I'm paying attention to this level here. So we have this level right here, 
right? So market created a form of support or support around here. And now we also have another confluence, which is our pivot level, right? We have another pivot level. Market already tapped into this level here and this pivot then gave us a massive rejection around here, okay? Now it came back down, gave us another bullish engulfing candle right here. So it looks like this level might want to hold because we have a, our level, we have our, our um, indicator, our pivot, which is indicating that this might be a significant level where we might want to be looking for opportunity to scale up. Now, if you look at the structure property as well, we might have a clear uh, a trend to the upside here. So it could be we have a um, an aggressive push, a correction, another aggressive push, a correction. So this level is still valid as long as this level is holding, right? As long as it's still holding, because in order for us to see a break of this structure, we need to evaluate. Uh, we need to see um, a breach of this level here. So if you look at the trend, it also might be that this level right here is forming a trend to the upside, a short-term trend to the upside. You know, something like a channel. You know, you never can tell, you know, something like this. If we go to the four hour time frame, we also then this is my main target actually for the main trade, right? So it might go like this, guy, like this until it gets to target. So you can see on the four hour time frame, we have a uh, rejections as well. Look, this pin bar, this current pin bar. So when market opens on later on today, I don't know how it's going to happen, what's going to happen, or how it's going to play out. We might see market come back down a little bit. I don't know, right? And it might also just continue to go to the upside. But um, on market opening, I will pay attention to price action and then see if, I, if I'm able to get a opportunity to scale up. So if I do get an opportunity to scale up, I'm going to be scaling up anywhere around here, placing my stop loss right below this level here. Then I'm going to be, let me put it on one hour so we can see clearly. Uh, I'm going to be targeting this level here, right here. And that's going to be my scale. I'm just going to make it a one figure. Let's just see 30 pips. Right, then I'm going to be scaling up this trade and adding to the current one. But like I said, it's not confirmed yet. It's just something I'm looking at, you know, to to see when market uh, market opens, right? So that is it with that one. Um, nothing too complicated. Uh, I have not really done my analysis. I, what I'm doing right now is just pretty much, uh, apart from this G that I saw yesterday, any other pair I've not really checked, you know, so I'm just going with the flow. So with this um, Euro USD, I really don't trade Euro USD like that. I trade more of um, GU and Euro NZD, right? So it's quite similar to, as you see, it's quite similar to to GBP USD. And um, if we check USD CHF, this is fine as well. So you can see this is also showing weakness to the downside. So it's possible we see further. Uh, push to the downside, maybe a little bit of um, a little bit of extension one more time before the aggressive push to the downside. All right. So um, as like I said at the beginning of the video, you guys should try to watch the previous video, and then um, you guys are gonna see the analysis behind this uh trade. Where is it again, Professor? Professor, this one here. Um. Euro uh, this two that I took, right? So it was about 600, yeah, exactly 600 pips uh, that I had for three weeks. So the analysis behind this trade uh, I have in my previous video. So um, like I said, I have things to do. I just wanted to make sure I drop this video real quick before I start my day. Um, if you guys have questions, I will try to make another video during the week uh, to give you guys update of what's going on in the market and also if you have questions if there's something you guys want me to talk about um drop them in the um comment section i'll be gladly because i really don't trade much lately honestly i last week i only took um a trade yeah i only traded once 
last week. And that's because I am, I said to you guys that um, I'm a fan of everything. I believe everything works. I don't say this style of trading don't work. And I think a lot of people get discovered when other mentors are telling them this don't work, that don't work. And they forgot to realize that a lot of these people are saying all of these things just to sell a product or something to them. But everything really works, to be honest. Just know what you're doing and learn how to manage yourself. I use indicators. I use smart money. I use um, um, retail. I use EA to trade. Uh, there is this EA that I, I've been using lately um, from Malik, you know, amazing EA. So I trade manually. And also, I'm trading manually. Also, I'm trading EA as well. So if I'm making money with manual trading, I'm also making money with EAs. If I'm not making money with manual trading, I'm making money with EAs. So, you know, I, I, I try to switch everything. I believe everything works. So if you guys are um, looking to get your hands on the EA, um, I don't know what I can do. I think I'll put the, the link to Malik's channel or Malik's handle or Telegram or Instagram in the in the description below uh check the ears out check the result if it's something you guys might also like also if you want to get your account a challenge passed with him you can also he does all of those automation thing so you guys might want to check him out as well so um but if you have questions uh let me know and i will also make another video towards the end of around the middle of the week uh to give you guys an update on this concept this current, uh, current pair uh, USD, and also maybe another opportunity that I might see during the week. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys um, later. Have a good one and stay blessed. Bye.